If you understand this one concept about violin playing, then you will become a very good violinist. And the reason I say this is because I use this in my own teaching, I use it in my own personal practice, and I want to share this secret with you today. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to become a better violinist. And I want you to hear these words. Small tweaks lead to high peaks. Almost every single soloist that I've talked to on my podcast, The Violin Podcast, which by the way, you should check out. It's a really cool podcast where I interview violinists from around the world, is where you really want to make sure that you are really making small little changes in your playing so that way your playing does not plateau. And it's easy for us to do that as violinists because sometimes we have a busy performance schedule and sometimes we just don't have time to practice and sometimes we have busy lives and families and children to take care of. And oh my gosh, I'm even thinking about it right now. But let me tell you that even if you tweak one little thing about your playing today and then you tweak one little thing of your playing tomorrow and then the day after that, if you do that every single time you practice, you are really helping yourself to become a better violinist. And to be fair, I have felt this in my own practice at times where I just feel like I'm not making any progress because I was thinking maybe too big of a picture. Maybe I just wanted to think about performing a piece of music from beginning to end and that was my one major goal. But let me tell you from experience that it doesn't work that way. You will set yourself up to failure if you think of too much of a macro setting. If, if that's your main goal, then you're going to fail because you either can make your one goal or you can fail your one goal. It's either 100% success or 100% fail. And if you are able to do tiny little tweaks, maybe adding a little bit of vibrato here or adding more sound production here or maybe a slight bit of musicality in another section, you'll be surprised by how much better you'll play. You might be a professional, you might be a student, you might be a beginner, or you might be someone who is in college trying to look for inspiration in their practice. And I get it, I've been there too. I haven't been doing really well in practicing every single day. Normally I'm pretty good about it, but when you have a family to take care of and you have a job and you have teaching obligations, you have various students to take care of, the only way that I can practice is actually when I'm teaching. That helps me think about these tiny little tweaks in my playing. How can I serve my student better? How can I do like a little tweak in my playing and how can I explain that to my student? Because if I'm focusing and if I'm thinking about these things every single day while I'm teaching, then of course I will definitely try to bring that onto my student. Let's create an example of what that might look like. Let's say I have a practice journal and I wanna do maybe two or three tiny little tweaks in my playing. I might wanna say, I wanna make sure this vibrato sounds really good. And to be even more specific, I want this vibrato to be more narrow. Okay, that's one tiny tweak. Another tweak is, I want to play closer to the bridge so that way I can project more. Very specific goal, a tiny tweak for me to play very close to the bridge to get a nice sound. Maybe another tweak could be having just good posture, making sure that you are emitting confidence in your playing. We don't want to be playing as if we're sad all the time. I have a professor back in the day that said, if you can't play well, if you don't feel well. And by adding these tiny little tweaks in your playing and you compound that throughout a long period of time, then you're gonna see dramatic changes in your playing. And what I encourage you to do is what I encourage all my students. I have them record uh, the beginning of their progress with the piece in the beginning. And then let's say they perform a recital, and they're recording for an audition tape or a recital or whatever, then I have them see the comparison between what they have started in the beginning and where they are right now. It's mind blowing to see their faces it's like, wow, I really came a long way. And I think that is one of the most rewarding experiences as a teacher if I am able to provide that support and that knowledge to my students. But it all comes down to having small tweaks lead to high peaks. And if you can surround yourself and dive into that mentality, you are going to become a good violinist. I can say that um, with confidence that you can become a great violinist if you dive into that mindset. So again, small tweaks lead to high peaks. Very important that you do that.
these are all very philosophical ideas, but if you're looking for something a little bit more practical and you came across this video, then I encourage you to check out this video for you to take a look at.